Hey guys, uh, this is a video status update just because I'm dressed up and bored and waiting to leave. So, uh, are you guys going to have a New Year's resolution this year? I've seen a lot of people shit talking New Year's resolutions like, oh, you can change anytime during the year and be a better person. You don't have to wait until the new year. And yeah, that's true, but New Year's resolutions are kind of fun. Um, However, this year, I'm actually not going to do one. And my reason for that is because anything that I could say as a New Year's resolution, I've pretty much already done this year. Um, like, I've lost weight, which is always my New Year's resolution. Um, number one resolution is to be a better person and to lose weight and to be happier. And so I've done all that. Like, I've lost weight. Yeah, it's not as much as I wanted to lose, but it's still at least noticeable. I'm, I'm happier. I'm healthier. I'm mentally healthier, physically healthier. I don't take insulin anymore. Um, I, I, I'm in a much better place, you know, both, both physically and mentally because of the weight loss. Um, I reconnected with my son. I've spoken to my sister. My mom's alive. Um, I have some amazing friends online. Some like my support group online is just phenomenal. You know, I, I have so many supporters, friends, and, um, just people that care and follow me and love me or whatever. Um, I've succeeded in, you know, stopping my feuds with people. The ones that I haven't ended the feuds with, um, we just don't talk. It's no longer like in my head, like, I hate this person. I hate this person. I hate this person to where, you know, I, I feel the need to talk about it or, do something about it all the time. It's just, you know, there's people out there that don't like me that I don't like, and that's life. You know, I mean, I prefer to get over it, but if, if they won't, you can't force them to. So I just leave it, you know, and there's certain other ones like, um, like Emily is a big one where we had this feud going for years, you know, for ages. And now we're on a, we're in a good place. Um, I, I'm so happy to be where I am with her. Like she is such a sweetheart and it's what I had originally always suspected about her is that, you know, we'd get along really well and she was an awesome person. And now I get to see that side of her and, oh, I tell you, it is just so much better than, than this unnatural hatred for someone that you don't even know. And it, it makes you feel good inside and, you know, I, you get to just clear the air and move on. And that's what it's all about. You know, it's just moving on and just feeling better about everything. And so I've, I've done that this year and not just me. I mean, the other half has to be willing to as well. So I'm not going to take all the credit and be like, well, I ended the feud because it takes two to feud. It takes two to end a feud. So, you know, the ones that have ended feuds with me and the ones that I've succeeded in ending feuds with, we've gotten along. And now for the most part, I don't really have any active feuds that I know of. There are people out there, of course, that still hate me. And right now there's, somebody or a group of somebody's that are stalking my page and like every photo I put up, they're reporting me. And I think it is hilarious. It is such a big laugh because Facebook for better or for worse, they're not just removing photos anymore. And I know that I don't, um, I don't show anything I'm not supposed to show. I mean, for the most part, I'm pretty fucking covered up. I mean, I dress in my photos kind of sexy. Um, but everything is covered and I'm still more covered than most chicks out there. So none of my pictures is going to get removed. And if I do bloody artsy photos, I mean, even those aren't, I'm not going to lose my profile. I'm not going to lose my pictures. So really all these people are doing is succeeding in showing me that they're thinking about me and that me and my life bothers them, which I think is just funny. It's so funny because they're dedicating so much time for three days, two, two or three days straight now my feed has gotten full of just reports, reports, reports. And then every single one, Facebook's like, we have found it does not violate. And I'm just like, oh my God, these people are so stupid. Like, I just like, it's so flattering that I bother them so much that all they can do is impotently sit there and report my photos. And if I bring it up, you know, it's because I feel sorry for them. I know they don't really have, they obviously don't have anything in their life. So they want attention. So I give them a little bit of attention and say, Oh, look, you've reported me. Yay, you must feel great about yourself. Um, thanks for the attention to me and the um, flattery to me. Um, but you're not hurting me. Um, 
nothing really hurts me now. Oh, there was one thing that hurt me that was extremely fucked up. And some of you might have heard about this already, but um, some really sweet girl nominated my family for this, like, for Christmas food help or food help around Christmas because, you know, we've been struggling. It's not a lie. We've been struggling, like, fucking massively. Um, okay, we have kittens. We got new kittens. They don't need a lot. I've explained this many times. If I didn't think we could handle them, we wouldn't get them. I know pet food here is outrageous, but we get the really expensive food and they nibble on it. They don't eat a lot of it. They don't shit a lot. And we let them outside except for the babies. So the the litter cost isn't that much because only the two little kittens use a litter box really. And they're just not eating all that much um, because it's a really good food. So one bag yeah, it might be like a hundred bucks, a hundred and something bucks, but we're only spending that maybe once a month. And so, you know, I mean, pets bring happiness. If we had a baby, it would be a lot more than that. Uh, if we had dogs, it'd be more than that. So kittens bring a little bit of joy to our life. What's the harm, you know? Um, tattoos, we saved up for my birthday, got tattoos. Um, we've canceled all of our appointments because we haven't had money. We're not just like, oh, we have no food and goes out and buys tattoos. You know, it's not like that. Um, I am getting a tattoo bought for me uh, in about a month, maybe three weeks, two or three weeks, because I took off these piercings and I agreed not to pierce my bottom lip anymore unless I put this vertical back in. And so um, for that exchange, I was offered a tattoo, you know, a little one. Uh, so I'm going to get that. Uh, any tattoos haven't come out of our money because we just don't have money. Um, I don't control what people gift us or give us or send us. Um, and when it's offered, the first thing I'll say is no, no, you don't have to do that. No, it's okay. Or what can I get you? Even though like we can barely feed ourselves, we can't really get anything for anybody, but I'm hoping of course, we're not going to always be like this and there'll be a chance to get stuff for the people who are so sweet to send us stuff. I save the little address things and I have every intention of trying to do something, even if it's something small, just trying to do something. Um, so it's not like we just sit here, oh, gimme, 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 because we don't ask for anything. Uh, we appreciate everything and we don't even readily accept everything because it just makes us feel really like on the spot, like, fuck, is it bad if we accept it? Is it bad if we say thank you and take it or should we just say no? It's it's, it's really weird. It's, it's awkward. But um, she nominated us for food anyway because we don't really have food. We haven't really had food. And um, that's because Dorian is not getting welfare anymore, so he cannot feed himself. He he can't help. He can't do anything. He sits around all day and plays games, sleeps all day, stays up all night long. We never even see him. He's not contributing. And all of the extra food that we had is trying to go into helping feed him. So Logan's working day and night. We got a higher rent here. We higher bills. He's sucking up all the bills. He's not contributing and it's just making life a lot harder right now. We were okay until Dorian lost his welfare. Now we're trying to take on a whole other person, which has made things difficult. Um, and then with me needing to get my teeth fixed, me needing to get surgery, probably I, I still have to pay for the x-ray to see if what can be done about my tailbone. Um, there's a lot of shit happening right now, but I was like, oh my God, thank you so much for nominating me. Nobody's ever done that for me before. And we were chosen for like $50 worth of food, you know? And when I was arranging to go get a ride, she wrote me back and said, oh, somebody, a few people have written and said that you're a liar and you're, you muck people around and this and that. And so I'd rather help someone who needs it, not you. So I'm not going to help your family. And I was like floored that some anonymous person or people from Christchurch, of course, as well as New Zealand dicks, um, would step up and like to hate me is one thing, but they took food away from my family. You know, they took food away from my hardworking husband. They took food away from my son, you know, whether he's doing anything or not, he's still my son. And you know, it's, it's fucked up to make my family pay for somebody hating me for no reason. Um, and I had a lot of like all my friends step up online and say, you know, you're not like that. You're not like that. And they all vouched for me, but this chick wouldn't change her mind. And they were like, I'm going to write her and tell her, but I'm, I said, don't do that because you, you can't force someone to help you. It was a nice enough thing that she even offered in the first place. And she doesn't know me. So the fault's not really with her. It's with whatever asshole out there thought it was a good idea to go and make up shit to take this from my family on Christmas Eve. Um, 
that was probably the lowest thing to happen to me all year, even above those two fuckheads robbing us and, you know, the problems that we had with the girl that we were fostering at the time and stuff or trying to foster. I mean, that was just really low. Uh, I'm used to people hating me and trying to start shit with me, but not to bring my family into it. Um, but yeah, but aside from that, I've had more people come and want to offer food parcels and stuff. And like, I, I feel really bad. Like, I don't know. I feel so bad because I don't want to come off like, Oh fuck. We're like basically homeless. But when, I don't know, there has to come a time when you push your pride aside and I want to, I want to accept it because I want to make sure Logan has enough food to eat because when he goes to work, he's like starving. He comes home, he feels like vomiting and he feels really dizzy because he's worked all day and he doesn't have anything to eat. And, you know, I mean, who am I to say, no, 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 trying to save my own face, trying to save face when I could be like, yes, please here and then be able to feed my family with it, you know, although it's nobody else's responsibility to feed us, but our own. So there's that as well. And it's just a big mix up. I mean, what I'm trying to get my head around is if somebody offers on their own, they've obviously like thought about it and it's something they want to do on their own. And I need to just stop pushing them away and being like, um, I can't accept it. I can't accept it. You know, um, I just, I, don't know. I hope that that makes sense because I, I don't know, but that kind of goes along with the whole fan friend support group thing I have the one or two or three or four or even hundred people out there that hate me and wish death upon me for unknown reasons. They're nothing compared to the, the support that I have out there. And that means so much more because while I have like, Oh no, somebody reported my picture. I hope. <laughs> and then I go online and it's like, we love you Raven, you know, and it's like, Oh, I'm going to gravitate towards that. People that have met me in person, people that speak to me, people that come you know, and have a conversation with me, they know me, they know me a lot better, especially people that I've known in person. Um, they know me. And so I trust their judgment better than some person that's going to hide away and anonymously talk shit. It, it always happens. It happens to everybody, even people bigger and better than me. So, I mean, I'm not going to take it personally. My life is going great. I don't need new year's resolutions. I, I have improved myself on my own. I am looking forward to next year because this year has been kind of a bummer, except for my surgery. Everything's gone pretty much to shit this year, but I haven't let it get me down. I'm, I just cuddle my family closer and just be like next year, next year, next year. Hopefully things will look up and, um, maybe I can get a surgery or something and then I can look for work and I don't even know, just, uh, do something. Maybe I can lose more weight. I've got like 20, 30 pounds to lose to hit my goal and I'm three months from my one year. I try not to be too hard on myself. Um, like I'm looking at my shoulder width and it's like this, whereas it was like this, you know, this time last year. Um, but all in all, I'm just happy to be here and I'm happy to know all of you and to have all of you. And, uh, if I talk about people bothering me online, um, I know you mean well, but please stop telling me, like I say this so many times, please stop telling me don't let them get to you. Just ignore them. I don't want to ignore If I want to ignore them, I would. If I mention them and doing it for a reason, doing it because they obviously want acknowledgement so they can have it. You know, I have enough goodness, happiness, support, love, light, laughter in my life that I can give a little bit of attention to somebody who so obviously needs it. If they need me to acknowledge that they exist in some form or other just to make their day, then I'll do it. You know, I mean... I've been there before. It must be a sad, lonely life to have nothing to where all you do is sit around reporting people all day because you're miserable at their happiness. And while you might try to deny it and say, oh, you're so-and-so is a bad person, they deserve it. In reality, if you're carrying that much hatred around with you, it means your life is severely lacking in something. And I know this from personal experience. And so it might not be giving them the kind of attention they think they want, but I'll acknowledge it. I don't care. I really don't. And if it really bothered me, trust me, you'd know because my mouth would be going crazy. Fuck, 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 fucking cut this and this and that. Now, I, I basically just have a laugh at their expense every single time because it's really all they can do. Um, even if I were to give my phone number and my address out, they would not come knocking on my door and say, look, I don't like you. And it's this and this and that. I've challenged people many times before. 
um, they just, the only they can thing that they can do is sit back and hate from a distance, and that's the only power they have. So, you know, I'm, how am I supposed to take that really seriously? It doesn't bother me because I have too much good in my life to let that, you know, to let an ant bother me. It doesn't. Um, so yeah, please stop saying that. Uh, but thanks for your concern anyway. Um, anyway, uh, this might be my last video of the year because it's the 30th for us today. I hope you guys have a great 2016. Um, fingers crossed that it's a better year than last year. And I hope you guys are doing well and you had a good Christmas. And if you need me, you know where to find me. And I just, um, yeah, just hope good things come your way. And I think everybody deserves a bit of good luck in their lives, especially from what I've seen happening online last year. And so many people are lonely and they don't have much, uh, don't have a loved one single now. They just might feel all alone and that really sucks. Uh, I feel really bad for you and um, I hope that next year brings you some kind of happiness and peace and here's to 2016 and I'll see you guys next year. Bye bye.